Located in the northwest of Washington State, the San Juan Islands are a unique area known throughout the world for its beautiful landscapes and iconic orca whales. Two and a half miles north of Orcas Island, Susha Island is treasured for its anchorages, trails, and beaches, including Mud Bay. If healthy, these shorelines support forage fish, which in turn support salmon and southern resident orcas. Historically, Susha's Mud Bay hosts beach habitats where forage fish incubate their eggs, safe from predators, and a salt marsh that provides a vital habitat for juvenile salmon on their way to the ocean. Over a period of 80 years, people added fill, rock, armor, and a road across the beach and marsh at Mud Bay. Though seemingly small, these developments carried a big impact, preventing water and wildlife from accessing spawning and rearing habitats and preventing the site from adjusting to rising sea levels. So one of the real intents of this project was to restore natural processes. Here we have a moderately low wave energy environment, but we still have the waves coming onshore. We have vegetation drift logs in motion, and we have the salt marsh and the tidal exchange back and forth. So with the armor in place and the old roadbed, everything was fixed and wasn't able to adjust. So the barrier beach wasn't able to roll over. Sediment was not able to move along shore freely with the various concentrations of armor and the tidal flow was greatly constricted. Seven years ago, Friends of the San Juans began collaborating with Washington State Parks and coastal engineers to come up with a plan to restore Mud Bay. Led by Friends Science Director, Tina Whitman, the project embarked on a thorough planning process grounded in research, surveys, designs, engineering, and permitting to end up with a salmon recovery project that directly benefits fish and provides a more natural experience for parks visitors. I'm really grateful to work in the San Juan Island community with all the different uh, nonprofits and public land entities out here because we work really well collaboratively and this project is a perfect example of how we're stronger together we can come together to accomplish common goals resource protection working with forage fish salmon ultimately the whales this is a project we wouldn't have done on our own mike carlson enterprises removed the old service road by bringing in heavy earth movers on a barge i grew up in the island so i you know i love the island and it's fun to be on the boat and figuring out how to get all the materials here and organize the schedule and pull it off, turn it into three dimensions. It was a very enjoyable project. I enjoyed working with the friends and great team to work with. The engineers were great, good too. I think the end result of what we did, what we took out and the way we're leaving the beach is a real plus for everybody. With the road and associated armor and fill removed, the beach was nourished with appropriate sized sand and gravel for spawning forage fish, supporting the food web for salmon. A new low impact road was installed at an inland location to allow full restoration of the shoreline and better address the needs of Washington State Parks. At the project's conclusion, San Juan Island Civilian Conservation Corp added plants to the restored berm to make it more resilient and to restore its original function and appearance. It was amazing to see the tide coming into the salt marsh unimpeded for the first time in over 75 years. The restored habitat will directly support juvenile salmon, forage fish, and through marine food webs, our endangered orca. A successful project, Mud Bay stands as an example of Friends of the San Juan's ongoing mission to work collaboratively to protect and restore the San Juan Islands for both people and nature. <laughs>